So now we're gonna work on cover buttons. So what are cover buttons? Well, you've probably seen them many times without even realizing what they were. Essentially, they're just covered buttons. They're buttons that are covered with whatever fabric you wanna cover, that it, cover them in. They usually come in different sizes. You almost often see them as a part of wedding gowns. They have these tiny satin little coverings and that's when you most often see them with these little white plastic backings. And like I said, they're just buttons that are covered. And what I love about them is that you can personalize your garments by using your fabric and the fabric you use for your garment and creating little cover buttons to sort of elevate, again, your garment up just a little bit. They're also great for when you're adding it, for example, to the back area of a dress, and if you can get skin tone fabric to match. That's a subtle way to just add that very special, unique touch to a garment, especially when you don't want like a really gaudy, obvious zipper on a garment. So how do we make a cover button? Well, first of all, you can you can buy them as a kit. They, if you go to your local Joann's, they come as a kit and essentially they come, these are the refills that I've gotten, but they also come as the original kit. And the original kit comes with, um, as a part of the packaging, it's this little button pattern you can see. And it comes with the actual cover button pieces and the tool you'll need to actually do your button covering. So it's this little plastic, it's usually rubbery kind of piece here, and then this additional plastic piece here, and I'm gonna show you exactly how to use those. And they're really simple. So what you do is you take your pattern, and like you do with any pattern, you just go in and you trace. Let's see if this is gonna work for me. I know I use my chalk for everything, but I'm like, maybe. Like, nope, it's not gonna work. So I'm just gonna use my chalk and sort of go around here and make my markings for my button. Now you can use um, a water soluble marker. You can even use a pen or a pencil. I like to work in disappearing chalk because again, I don't want any issues with sh um, the marks showing up on my finished garment. So now that I got my uh, pattern here, I'm just gonna go in and cut that out. Okay, so I've got my pattern cut out. So what's the next thing I do? So now I set up my kit. So that rubbery plastic part, you're gonna wanna make sure that the deepest groove is where your fabric uh, right side down. So the wrong side should be looking at, up at you because you do want that satin surface to be showing. So you go and you make sure you get it as center as possible because you don't want to have um, any fabric that is pulling too much one way because it's just gonna be more difficult to get that button uh, closed. Next thing you do is you take the top part of the button and you just push it down in there. Really simple. You can use, if you're gonna use a scissor, just be careful because the, these are like aluminum and they're super uh, bendable. So if you go in there and you're too aggressive, what's gonna happen is it's gonna bend all up and it's not gonna close. So once you're done, now it's just a matter of maneuvering um, that fabric down. So that's when you just gently take your scissors and sort of just go around. Because you want as much, you want you don't really want any raw edges showing because that's gonna make it difficult for the button to close. So once you feel good about everything is nice and tucked in there and there aren't any visible raw edges showing, then you're going to take the bottom part of your button and that's just this part back here um plastic or otherwise and you're going to place it right on top like a little hat using that blue tool or whatever color it is you're going to use that part that sort of protrudes to mash in your button i'm just going to take the top there and just sort of do this it's usually until you hear like a snap, 
You're supposed to hear like a snap that's going to let you know that everything is in place. So here we have it, a pretty little cover button. And you should also know the thicker the fabric, the harder it is going to get it, to get it in there. So just make sure that you're cutting on that pattern and give yourself some time. It takes some time, a little bit of maneuvering and pushing to get the button in. But once you get it in, you can see the results. It's very pretty. You have this smooth sort of decorative design and you make as many as you want to just sort of make your design a little bit extra special and put your... Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. Videos are uploaded weekly covering dressmaking, fashion, lectures, and more.